Hello and welcome to prof.manish nayar. I have been telling that some point of time you will always get into the trap of routine work. While you are applying for a new job, you also need to understand that at some point of time when this routine trap is set, then you need to come out of it. The only parallel understanding to it is how to de-stress yourself and I am very sure that you might have your interest or passion component but going back to your own job and applying it with a full zinc energy enthusiasm with the same newness and freshness requires you to learn how to de-stress so let's talk about how to de-stress while you are working so here we begin no matter the industry or career field you work in all jobs can become stressful at times routine trap however there are many ways you can deal with stressful situations from practicing deep breathing to squeezing a stress ball which my colleague ashish dongre does that will help you to cope with challenges in healthy and productive ways additionally being able to manage your stress while you are at work is essential for staying motivated productive and satisfied in your job in today's shoot we are going to explore how to de-stress at work so you can stay happy and productive in your job 22 ways actually not one two three but 22 ways to de-stress at work i'll lay them one by one it's important to have several techniques that you can rely on when work gets a little bit stressful the following approaches to dealing with stress at work can help you get an idea of what coping strategies will work best for you. Number one, complete deep breathing exercises. Deep breathing is a very effective calming technique that can help you slow down and refresh when you feel overwhelmed. The next time you experience stress at work, try this technique by inhaling deeply, stop for a while and slowly exhale through your nose. Inhaling and exhaling all through the nose will keep your mouth mum and maybe stick for some time and that will help you to master this breathing technique. I already have an exclusive breathing technique video on this channel. You can go and watch that. Hold the breath on your inhaling for about three to five seconds. You can begin with this and slowly build on with your breathing technique before letting it go and repeat the process for at least 10 breaths 10 times i hope this this should work number two exercise on your break exercise is an excellent physical outlet that can help you manage stress try to get some form of exercise during one of your work breaks such as 10 minute walk outside the break away from your desk and physical movement can help you reduce stress and tension so you can get back to your work refreshed. Remember, I'll, let me also put this, every two hour lecture, I try and go to the longest washroom so that my walking and my stretch post visiting the washroom gives me some kind of a refreshing feeling. And I am again going back to my one hour and completing the two hour at a stretch for the same session. You can do this might as well. Number three, leave the building for lunch. That's a good idea, but I don't know how much it is possible. Sometimes a simple change of scenery can help you calm work-related stress. If you can leave your office for lunch, even to sit outside, pick one or two days per week, not every day, where you leave the building to unwind and take a break. I, along with Ashish Dongri, we go to the neighboring premise of State Bank of India where we conduct our lecture and take that greener exposure and the calmness that it offers. Number four, use time management techniques. Sometimes work related stress can be due to falling behind on deadlines. Working on projects last minute or any number of time sensitive tasks that can become overwhelming. If your stress is related to fulfilling your work responsibilities, find time management strategies that can help you stay on track. For instance, try a time management app to track important assignments 
and your progress on them so you can work more productively and avoid becoming overwhelmed with your work. Number fifth, clear away the clutter. Organize your workspace and get rid of unnecessary items. Go through old documents, clear out old papers and throw away any items you don't need. Cleaning up and tidying your work area will help you stay organized. Find important items easily and help you stay focused. Number six, follow simple massage techniques. Self-massage is an easy and quick de-stressing technique that you can do right at your desk. When you feel stressed, use your index fingers and thumbs to lightly pinch the upper cartilage of your ears. Roll your fingers and thumbs in a light massage and take a few deep breaths. Use the same massage technique on your hands by lightly pinching the area between your thumb and index finger on each hand. Number seven, use the visualization technique. Visualization is a powerful tool and using this technique can help you clear your mind. Calm down and relieve stress and frustration. Simply close your eyes and picture scenery that makes you feel good. For instance, if you feel frustrated, close your eyes for several seconds and imagine a beach, landscape or your dream home. The key is to envision something that brings you feelings of positivity and calmness. This can work specially well combined with deep breathing. Number eight, snack on something healthy. Bring healthy snacks that gives you the nutrition you need to stay energized throughout the day. Mind you that your brain has a lot of work to do than your alone physical being. Proper nutrition can actually help you lower stress overall. So instead of grabbing a bag of chips from the vending machine, for example, reach for something fresh and nutritious to snack on. Number nine, get up and move around. Similar to structured exercises, movement in general can be an excellent way to take a break and refresh. Walk around the office, take the stairs instead of the elevator or get up and stretch for a few minutes, which I normally do. The movement will help you release tension and combat stress as you can get back to focusing on your work. Number 10, talk with coworker. Sometimes talking with someone you trust when you are feeling stressed out can help immensely. Speak with a coworker or a wo or work friend about what you are feeling. When you speak up about your emotions and ideas, you can often find insightful feedback that can help you manage any work related stress you are dealing with. Number 11, ask for support when you need it. Ask for help when you need it. Even though Working independently has its benefits. Knowing when you need some extra support to finish a complex project or complete a challenging task will help you understand your limits. Working with your team also demonstrates your ability to ask for input and listening to different perspectives, which is an essential trait in many work environment. Asking is better than telling. That's what I keep saying. Number 12th. Prioritize efficiently. Learn to prioritize your work assignments and daily tasks according to their importance and urgency. For instance, the Eisenhower matrix is an excellent technique for distinguishing between the tasks you absolutely need to complete and those that can wait or that you can abandon. Try this method of prioritizing your work by listing your assignments as urgent assignments that you need to plan, tasks that you can delegate and tasks that you can completely eliminate from your to-do list. Number 13, take time to socialize. You are bound to form some friendships in the office and a great way for you and your teammates to unwind a little bit and de-stress at work is to take some time to socialize. For instance, a five-minute conversation in the morning before work to talk about your weekend or lunch but once a month with your work friends can help you take your mind off of work related stress number 14 stretch at your desk stretching is also effective when you are in the middle of work task and need to stay at your desk 
Try some simple stretches like lifting your legs straight in front of you while sitting in your chair and point your toes out then in. Squeezing your calf muscles. Another feel good stretch while sitting at your desk is to raise your arm straight over your head. Clasp your hands together and sit up tall. The movement can help you quickly recharge and relieve tension and you don't even have to get up from your seat. I do it because I know everything has gotten changed to online from the offline. So it is it is going to take toll on your body. Might as well do this. Number 15 use mobile apps and set reminders. Take advantage of scheduling apps on your mobile devices to keep track of important things like project deadlines, meetings and other related events. Many of these tools have settings that you can use to set notifications to remind you when you have something important to attend to. And mind you, I have a lot of time management apps discussed in one of my video. You can go and check that as well. Number 16, reduce the distractions. Working in an office environment can often come with distractions. Things like employees conversations or the noise from office equipment can sometimes be distracting. When you're trying to focus, if you work in an office separate from others, keep your door closed during times when you need a quiet environment to work and training session always need a quieter environment. If you work in an open office setting, a pair of noise cancelling headphones will help reduce background noise. Number 17, listen to relaxing music. Another great way to stay focused and stress free while working is to play some relaxing or light music. Even in an open office setting, you can use headphones to eliminate the noise. Create a playlist of classical music, for example, and play the tunes throughout the day when you need a moment to relax. Number 18, create healthy routines. Adequate sleep can go a long way towards keeping you energized and productive during the work day. Make sure you are getting enough sleep and giving yourself enough time in the mornings to get ready for work. Last minute breakfast and rushing in the mornings can add to work stress and getting to bed a little earlier can help with creating a positive routine that supports your work life balance. Number 19 prepare in advance taking the time at the end of each work day to set up your tasks and projects for the next day can help you plan ahead and stay on track with important assignments for example use the last 5 to 10 minutes for every work day to get your to-do lists ready in advance this way you will know exactly where to start each morning when you arrive at work number 28 make short term goals set short term goals for yourself and take note of when you accomplish your objectives for instance create weekly objective to have all urgent tasks for a week done by friday afternoons when you take the time to reflect on what you have accomplished you will be less likely to focus on stressful things that you have no control over number 21 practice accountability Take responsibility for your actions and hold yourself accountable. For instance, if you make a mistake on a work assignment, take responsibility and ownership and work on improving and learning from the error. This not only helps you develop further, but it also demonstrates your resilience and initiative to work on your self development. Number 22, the last one. Meditate for a few minutes each day. Each 5 minutes of deep breathing, visualization and being present in your body is enough to enjoy the benefits of meditation for stress relief. You can meditate right in the office with a variety of mobile apps that offer guided meditation so you can take a few minutes to refocus and recharge. I hope 22 points laid for a better discipline in life will make you refresh rejuvenated and offer something new all the time so while de-stressing is being discussed think of your de-stressing point
perhaps that that is also the 23rd point which you can do it which comes natural to you so best wishes on de-stressing yourself and mind you if we have longer productive years to offer ourselves then body the entire mental being and the physical being needs to be in congruence so take care of your body and your mind then only you would be able to offer productive constructive and progressive input to your organization or to yourself best wishes thank you